Alright, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to I'm Gonna Go Kick a Space Station's Ass. Uh, I actually have not bothered to look up the title of this game yet. That, he, woo. He looks funky. Something's up with his shields that I'm not used to. Looks like he's got a pretty hefty drone bay. Doesn't look like he has many guns, though. So, I'm probably fine. These big ships tend to actually be a lot weaker than you'd think they would be. Uh... And it looks like they're pretty damn busy dealing with all my missiles. I do think after this, I'm going to cut missiles entirely out of my diet. So let's see if I can make some more scrap to buy some, like, actual better guns. Yeah, that... that laser... that shield recharge thing is so boss. Okay, it does look like... oh, he's got a big laser on him. He might not be able to... he might... Still, he still might not be able to deal with all my shield recharge, though. Like, my drones are keeping it up, but that one shield recharge gun is just such a beast. Okay, you're running. He's almost dead anyway. Yeah, it started to melt him at the end there, which hurt. Doesn't look like we get any items for that. How much to repair him? 80. Nah, we can always go back for more repairs. Uh, let's see. So let's see, that's no spaceship. Yeah, it looks like, uh, oh, I see how it works. Okay, so if it's the big ringed type thing, that means it's a, um, if, if it's got a, if it's a hexagon, it's a space station. If it's got like an outline, it's a ship. If it's just like kind of ship shape, then it's uh, a strike craft or a smaller scout vessel. This guy looks to be mostly, let me check, looks like he's got uh, some kind of cannon on top. He's also got a ton of drones. Let's see if he's got much for point defense. Yeah, he's got lasers. I wish you could almost fire... Okay, and some kind of weird ion cannon. Okay, he's got more guns than I gave him credit for. Um, those sounds are ridiculous. Fuck, that hurts. Like, we got him, but... Ow! Let's let my other ships meet shield for a second. Yeah, he either had, uh... He probably had shield repair. Yeah, they're, they're either shield repair or repair repair. That was hard to tell there. Either way, owie. Uh, let's do engineering. Nope, doesn't look like he dropped anything. Let's go back to the... It yeah, looks like we got some more stuff to go to. Uh, let's go auto travel back to the space station just so we can get repaired. We took some hits there. And I'm not wuss enough to say that I can just keep going like that. Obviously, I could spend money. Looks like we got more ships coming in. All right, uh, let's go back to the shield repair thing and put most of my repair points into it so I can reduce the repair time. Yeah, we're going to need that. Reducing the price of that is going to be, uh, very useful. Okay, so, things to consider. Honestly, um, I wouldn't mind repa replacing some of my ships here. Mainly this last guy. Uh, replacing him with the, with another Nightingale is probably a good idea. Just because he's faster, but that doesn't really mean much. I'd rather have tough. Unfortunately, it's gonna t take a while. Uh, no, it's you. Right? Yeah, it's this one. Unfortunately, the visual differences between the three ships is a little bit on the limited side. But yeah, selling him might not be a bad idea. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get the let's get the Falcons stuff off in space. Let's do formation. Let's sell the Falcon, and that gives me enough for another Nightingale. Perfect. Oh, I can change the formation around. That's neat. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just like you move the slots. But yeah, let's let's have him take tank a little bit. We'll have the two nightingales close. Ship is join the party. All right, so let's do engineering. Uh, so this is nightingale one. This is the ravager. Ravager, you get the chalet flat cannon, and. The human energy gatling. 
Uh, so you're going to be close and punchy, as can be. Uh, we do have the Wanderer Ion Cannon. I don't know how useful it's going to be. Okay, so the my Nightingale is going to have... Let's give it the Human Energy Laser. Laser Cannon, no. It's not as good as the Chalet one. Okay, um... And let's give the other one... These two. The Ion was kind of cool. Okay, and we've also got space for something. Now, I could get, like, plasma bombers or whatever, but honestly, I think I'm just going to go with uh, more shield regen drones. Those are super useful. I think. I don't know, actually. We might as well drag up the missiles, even if we're not using them. I would like a... Uh, I would love to get my hands on a distress beacon so we can start just murderizing these people. Uh... Let's actually just wait. We've got some friends coming in, and I might as well just be here to greet them. Okay, so where are they, where are they popping in? There they are. Yeah, so I, now that I've got two Nightingales and another wise, um... Huh. They've broken formation. Weird. Oh, well. Not like it bothers me too much. These ships are all pretty even. But, um... I should probably actually also save up for the shield boosters, honestly. We got a lot of point defense, but still. Okay, did he drop anything interesting? A shield drainer. Tempting, but not really useful. I don't know, I'll think about it. Maybe it's better than I give it credit for. Okay. Yeah, we still don't have a distress beacon. I love those things. So let's, uh... Let's start heading for our secondary objectives here. Hi! I guess this is a good point. I can totally just land on enemies. And be largely, surprisingly okay. Hey, there's the distress beacon I was looking for. Alright. So we got enough of these. I'm gonna go back home. I could drop them on my head. Uh, but this is better. Okay, so let's repair the ship. Let's go closer. Do star map. We're probably going to have tons of enemies around. Let's pop that Distress Beacon and see how many friends we can summon. Not as many as I thought, actually. Weird. Well, that's fine. Wait. And note to self in the future, save them. Use them occasionally. Did we really only get two friends? Well, you know what? This is still two friends that we will not be seeing uh, slightly later in the game. I'm glad there's, like, no uh, arbitrary time limit in this game. It does mean that I'm effectively just running around as an overpowered uh, set of ships, but it, whatever. Um, but, you know, it, it means I can take my time and not have to worry about things. Obviously, it probably does slow down the process substantially, so let's, let's start clearing out these objectives instead of just dilly-dallying. Uh, everything else doesn't look like it's really going to come to me. Most of the enemies do not look particularly mobile. So we've got... Maybe one ship looks like mostly it's a space station. Okay, so let's back off of him for a second. Let's turn up. Let's turn up the speed. I just want to dally. Looks like he's about dead anyway. There we go. Yeah, getting close to those guys always sucks just a little. Looks like there's an item for me. It is a Celestial Repair Beam. Well, in that case... Hi, Medic Ship. This is by a Shield Boost and a Shield Boost. In retrospect, actually, let's move one of those Shield Boosts over this guy. Might as well boost my shields up across the board. Yeah, close enough. Okay, Star Map. Uh, actually, in that case, let's... Go away from the map for a second. Nope. Not map. Formation. There we go. So you... I believe... This will work. What is my exact formation here? The problem is I don't know which ship is which. Go to engineering. It does feel like the... F oh... Yeah, it feels like the formation is bunk. 
See if we can spread it out even more. Yeah, it doesn't look like formation currently matters. Well, that's fine. Let's go back and mess these guys up. It looks like there are for some friends waiting for me, but they all left. Or maybe trying to catch up with me. Either way. Yeah, uh, so... I've got a ship with a repair beam on it. Hurts pretty bad, though. Doesn't seem to cost me scrap, though. So let's finish this fight. And see if he will repair himself. Yeah, it doesn't cost me money. We've got a direct healer. Awesome. Alright. Uh... Are you him? No. This is the one. Okay, so this is the repair beam. Ooh. So re repair time or repair number? Uh, 4.5. Let's go with this repair. Okay, it looks like we've got another dis distress beacon for us. Awesome. That last guy hurt. Let's wait one. Looks like we had friends coming in. So let's just wail on him. It might not be a bad idea to diversify my weapons a little bit. Uh, so I've got one guy entirely based on, uh, you know, so I don't just have the repair ship. Still, having a repair ship is going to be handy. Maybe. I'm glad I have the shield ship, though. I think I'm going to move all of my uh, shield boosters to him. Alright, so you are going to move that to him. Because currently, he takes the brunt of things. I don't know how this uh, it, this specific formation exactly came to be, but still. But yeah, let's, let's let the repair thing... Yeah? I mean, it doesn't repair much. That's kind of the unfortunate part. If I was crazy, I'd actually... Let's switch it off for the time being. If I was crazy, I'd actually use it in another way. Oh, I'm definitely gonna just keep it in my inventory, but, um, like, if I was crazy, I'd just switch it on and off. Like, switch it on after we finish, uh, a battle to heal up. But we'll only do that if we're actually, like, in deep shit and we need to. Currently, there's not a whole lot of reason to, so it's kind of like, eh, whatever. I'll keep with the shield recharge beam, because that shit is hot. But the, the repair laser itself is probably not worth uh, sacrificing some extra firepower here. Okay, so let's get that in. Looks like we got some new guns. Uh, we got a Celestial Bolter. Oh, you can use that. And we also get a Celestial Gatling. This is the Ion Cannon. I'm gonna get the Energy Gatling, but honestly, we don't need it that much. Shields are less of an issue. Let's repair this location. Okay. Let's continue on to our next secondary objective. There's a ton of enemies around here. I probably should have dropped in directly on the, um, hostile ship. Oh, this is gonna hurt a bit. We might actually have to leave after this one. Oh, maybe not. Still, he's gonna take some licks. But yeah, we do enough damage that we can kind of chew through people. Hurts bad. That's okay, though. I like this game. This is really solid. Uh, really slow, admittedly. The, the slowness is a bit of a... issue. Celestial Ion Cannon. Okay, somebody has an Ion Cannon here. Well, let's compare and contrast. Which is better? So 630, 46. 630, 37. Shield damage. Shield damage. Okay, so the Ion Cannon actually does a fair amount of hull damage. Oh, so this one's all on accuracy. It really doesn't actually feel like there's much of a difference here. Obviously, this one's way better against shields, but that's not a priority for me. Okay, so let's leave that alone. Let's see, repair. Nah. I hate doing this, but we're just going to go back. better than losing a ship. And it doesn't take too long.
Plus, we can auto travel, so I mean, it it this is a pretty fast system. That looks like a tough sucker. Holy crap, that hurt. Real bad. Back that ass up before we get smackled. Now, whatever that thing is, it's very painful to experience. Okay. Let's hold and position. I'm probably going to star map out after a certain point. It, don't know if this guy can heal himself. Uh, we might be able to take him down. We're taking him down. Hurts real bad. But we got it. He has little ships too. But we got it. I, you know it. I feel like I'm getting less scrap now that I'm out here. I wonder why. I don't know. Uh, losing a ship right now would be catastrophic though. I would not be able to deal with it particularly well. Come on, get back here. Okay. I mean, there's, there's a decent amount of scrap, but still hurts. Super bad. Travel the next map. No. Oh, that's why we got our ass kicked. Because that was the final one. He was super tough because that was the... That was the final mission. Okay, so let's bring you away. I wasn't paying attention to who my enemies were. So I'll try and fight this guy, but if he's obviously too much for me to handle, I'm just gonna book it. I've got a fair amount of health left on this guy. Okay, we are melting way too fast. We're leaving. We don't want to deal with that right now. Not with my ships as injured as they are. So let's get close and try and... I think he followed me. Yeah, it looks like he did. Try and stay close. I'm mostly interested in letting the battle station deal with him. Yeah, battle station harbinger. This guy is kind of a bitch. I definitely need more long range weapons. Okay, my shields are back, and he's almost dead. So let's move in. Cavalry style. There we go. Let's repair. Oh, let's repair. Thank you. Okay. I really wish there was a way to sell stuff here. Honestly, none of these seem particularly useful. I really wish there was just a way to sell. Because so we don't need these things, but there's no way to sell. Which sucks. That just gets rid of it. So what's the point? Okay. Like I can buy stuff. Probably not a bad idea to buy and upgrade all of these little shield things. Yeah. Let's get shield boosts. I got a ton of upgrade points anyway. And a fair amount of money. Okay. So my ships are a little bit tankier now. That's good. Okay. So yeah, the reason why I haven't left yet is because we actually really want to get our hands as, on as many um, weapons and equipment as we can before we leave. Uh, because, you know, since, since there's direct carryover between missions, I really don't want to leave until I've honestly looted everything that I possibly can. That's not much. But still. Okay, because I, I would much rather... I would much rather be able to, um, you know, go to the next one with, like, zero, zero regrets and issues. Ooh, that just reminds, reminded me. We should probably get our hands on, um, we should probably get our hands on, a uh, ship. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, a fighter-style drone. Yeah, we might actually want to get, like, a, a damage-dealing drone type deal. Take a look at you. Because, like, missile bombers, not so much so. Plasma. No, bolter. 
Nice hull, repair. Alternatively, we would just go shield, repair. Because honestly, drones don't seem particularly useful. What's the range on them? It's okay. I mean, we could buy it get two ships and try. We don't have enough money anyway. In fact, we don't even have any upgrade points because I just used them all. I swear I got more than that. Alright, whatever. Whoa! Hello! What the fudge is this? That looks like, uh, the bad kind of friendship. Let's go this way for the time being. Yeah, it looks like there's a number of things left for me to scour from this star system before we just book it. And I would prefer... To milk this place for as much as I can. Honestly, I really want these guys, like, long-range, high-damage guns. They're jerks. And I'm jealous. Obviously, like, I'm still more powerful, but... You know, I get the feeling getting my hands on a couple of these things would be a good idea. There we go. Okay. Starbuck map. Let's, let's clear these, like, little side galaxies, then I'm gonna throw in the whole repair thing. Skip ahead a bit. Uh, probably render out the next episode while people heal up. And then we'll go take on the next space station. Like, I'm in a pretty good spot here, but I might as well be full health. And I don't feel like spending any scrap on it, even if it's mostly cheap. But yeah, unfortunately, like, 90% of the weaponry I have, very short range. I guess we do get into pretty short-range encounters, though. But still, I'd like the ability to uh, pepper my enemies from a distance. Okay, let's fix some shit. Alright, that was fast. Uh, actually, we don't want that. We want the ion cannon thing. There we go. Okay, uh, do we feel like buying the missile ships? Yeah, let's get some missile, missile ships. Uh, this is the wrong ship. There we go. Alright, uh, missile bombers. There we go. Bye. I don't know if they'll be any good. Worth a shot, though, just to see. Okay, so let's do star map. Let's go blow up this other space station. For a second, I thought he was going to have uh, friends with him, but no, it doesn't look like he has friends. Apparently, the uh, space stations count as, like, the ship symbol as well. Okay. So I do have a plasma bomber. It is... Abso-fuckingly useless. Wow! That is worthless. It just got shot and died. I mean, let's see if it lasts against point defense. Okay, it's lasting a little bit better against point defense. It shot a couple of things. Okay, it does some damage. Still dies really fast. Oh god. You get in there. Okay. They withdraw. Okay, you did it, Commander. I knew knew it. You're proving to be a real asset to the Battle Station Force. Time to move on. Oh, Battle Station Harbinger. I think that's what I've been saying. Anyway, move on to the next galaxy. Yay, we get stuff. Item. Oh, uh, what is item? Human laser cannon. Wow, that is the height of a reward. For sure. That sucked. Almost lost a ship there. That would have been bad. Definitely don't think the bomber is worthwhile. Well, let's throw some more upgrade points into tr into it to try and make it more durable. Let's see, so this is... That boosts its range by 100. That increases the number of projectiles it fires. Or we can increase the number of ships out. Let's try and do burst. Because the more we distract its, um... Our enemies, the better. Okay, uh... Let's throw the repair laser back on. Do we wait some more? We do. Alternatively, you know what? It's a little bit shorter than the other ones. But, why don't we call it quits for now? Uh, it's a good episode. No, I don't know. Maybe I should actually clean up the galaxy first. Does seem like a good idea. Yeah, let's just chill out for a little while longer. 
This is going to be a piecemeal episode for sure. But yeah, I want to clear this one up before we move on to the next one. Really wish they'd give me some better weapons, though. I am getting hammered. And I don't move fast enough to do, like, hit and runs and stuff. So it's like, well, just send my ships in. Hope for the best. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. As we made a little bit of progress, let's go murder some people. Oh, right. I still got the repair laser on. Eh, well, well, for the sake of laziness, we're just going to leave it on for the time being. Okay. Things might be a little bit jittery here, but I think we're okay. I'm currently rendering the first episode as we speak. And as much as I'd like to, uh... You know, do them at separate times. I don't think it's going to mess with the footage. And, oh, I need the efficiency right now. I leave, like I said, at about 12 hours. Actually, it's less than that now. Uh, technically, I land in 12 hours. Yay! Having an insane amount of work to do prior to leaving. Yeah, well, that's okay. Man, that was speedy. All right. So I'm just going to let the repair laser finish things off for a second. Though. It doesn't look like we took too much damage here. Uh, let's see, looks like we're good. Awesome. Like, okay, looking at the screen, it really does look like, um, I can upgrade the hulls and ships and whatnot, but I don't see, like, a passive upgrade screen. I'd love that, though. I'd love to be able to just pour, uh, scrap into semi-expensive amounts of... Uh, let's see. Well, that ship's going there. Let's go this way. Uh, I'd like to send scrap into semi-expensive upgrade systems. Like, you know, upgrades for my various ships. I've always enjoyed that sort of thing, and that would be kind of a nice way of just you know, utilizing the extra resources. Not that I really need to, but still. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just like having even more progression systems beyond just, like, finding randomized loot. And part of the reason why I like that is because it's a consistent way of, like, kind of keeping... Uh, you know, a consistent way of kind of keeping track of things. So we've got... What's this? Whoa! Hi! Oh, okay, so we've got that, we've got the Ravager, we've got the Repair Ships. Let's go back to this sucker. Let's get rid of that Chalet Laser Cannon. And switch it out with, uh, the Plasma Cannon. It probably only shoots one shot at the same t uh, at a time, but still. Got great range. Okay. Let's see, Star Map. Yeah, let's keep just whomping people. We've got at least one or two more star bases before we're done. I'll probably keep this episode going until we do. Just because. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer. But, yeah, getting my hands on, uh... Getting my hands on a... Uh, a long-range weapon with that high of damage? That might... Yeah, that's probably it. Woo! Yeah! Alright! We actually got ourselves a gun! 300 damage, like that is nothing to sniff at. Especially if I can get it to do burst fire, which I might be able to. Did I put it on this one? I did. So what else can I do with it? Shield damage, that's useless. Recharge time hurts the range though. By how much? 100. Hard to say, honestly it's going to be a long time before I upgrade it anyway. But I might not touch it. I might just leave it as such for the time being. Okay, so let's move here. Looks like we're gonna have some friends, but my ships are tough, my damage is good, I'm feeling confident, and this is going to be fun. Actually, let's kind of keep ourselves back for a bit. Let's let them come to me. Okay, so we've got a big guy up there. Let's charge this group down here. Ooh, he's got a plasma cannon too. They're part of the reason why I take so much damage. Oof. Nope. One, you get out of there. Two, move to intercept those shots. We gotta start going for him. Okay. So we got our shields back. Two. Move out of the way. One. There we go. Yeah. So part of the reason why having those um, extra, extra uh, plasma bombers is nice. They work as meat shields. Very functional ones, in fact. Uh, they'll take the shots for me occasionally. So getting more bombers of that variety might be a good idea. But hopefully, he dropped another one of those. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. So which one of these is worse? So that is hull damage and shield damage, which is good. This is 80, 84. Um, I'm actually going to keep the energy Gatling. We're going to save this for the time being. We're going to grab that. Let's go back here and grab this one, too. I'm so glad 
we got another one of those. And this one, slightly less range, slightly less damage, but I'm okay with that too. That's some guns. Getting a bunch of those... Now that'd be nice. Alright, let's head for that one. Try and take out another ship. Oh, I feel like my luck has changed for the better. Oh, Hostel's present. Yeah, because now we've got some really heavy artillery in here. And, I mean, those those guns are no slouch, even at, um... Like, there, that is an interesting laser, and I kind of want it. He didn't drop it, though. Uh, those guns are no slouch, even at, like, short range, which is perfect. Yeah, he's gone. He didn't even get a shot in on me. That's why we want the medium range stuff. Looks like we might have gotten that laser, though. Oh, it's probably the Celestial Shield Drainer. It's got decent range on it. Alright, so we get another C Celestial Bolter. Um, It's probably not better than the Chalet Gatling or the Human Laser. Or is it? Ah, uh, you know what? It's probably better than the Human Laser. First one, but its recharge time is really short. Um, It's been upgraded a lot. Okay, let's... One of you guys just had a basic Human Bolter, didn't you? There we go. Try the uh, shield drainer. That might actually work out better for me as well. Okay, so what else we got here? Okay, so we've got an enemy stronghold down here, but let's head for the ship. Um, we've got the repair ship, so we don't need to go back ever. Whoa! Is that an allied ship? No, that's not an allied ship. This is an allied ship. I think that's the first time I've seen one. Well, if he dies, then... Oh, for me, he left. They left some presents behind, but you know what, whatever. Let's let's speed up the pace a bit. No reason to wait around. That thing is dodgy as hell. There it goes. Alright, so we get all the loot. It doesn't look like we've got anything worthwhile. So where did that ship go? It's fleeing this direction. Well, that makes my life easier. Looks like he's got some reinforcements, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, he was not ready for me. Oh, not at all. God, I love this gun. And I got two of them. Oh, that always feels good. So let's see what random junk we have. Oh, interesting. My random lasers from earlier are still here. Oh, that's cool. Alright. So it looks like we inter intercepted them. We've got another group. Let's throw up a distress beacon. And wait. Oh, interesting. That includes my own allies. Well, that's okay. This is the first time I've actually run into an allied ship. Looks like he's got three turret slots. It'd be nice to get something like that, but uh, I think we gotta wait. Uh, cause, yeah, these are still locked. I presume I unlock them later on in the game. It's interesting, all of these ships are from one faction. I wonder if you can get the other ones from elsewhere, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's wait again, we've got another, we've got another enemy group rolling in. I was hoping that I'd, uh, yeah, that's... That shield drainer, actually pretty good. Uh, I was hoping more of them would come say hi, but it looks like not. I'm just gonna keep waiting until they all get here. Um, so originally I was complaining about this game being too e easy, and admittedly, there is still some concern about it being too easy. Nonetheless, I'm actually kinda hoping to blow up my ally here. And he just dropped something. Ah, another distress beacon, I like those. Um, they're still coming. I guess that Distress Beacon is more effective than I thought. Or that this is just their natural natural progression, I'm not sure. Um, either way, originally I was concerned that this game would be, you know, too easy. That, you know, I just womp things repeatedly. Turns out, not so much so. We're actually doing a really good job of... I mean, the game's doing a really good job of scaling content. That's usually a complaint about roguelikes. That they scale content poorly. And admittedly, this one's... This one's a bit of an oddball roguelike, honestly. Uh, owing to the fact that- oh god, you're taking a fuck ton of damage. Okay. Let's speed it up a bit. He dead yet? Got him. 
I was a little bit worried about that, but it worked out okay. Did we get another one? The answer is no. We just got another beacon. Oh, that's fine. So let's just hang out and uh, repair for a bit. I don't know how much damage we've taken. Might not be a bad idea to escape. Looks like we've got a nebula and several other just like places to hang out here. How expensive. Six. Alright, that will take like no time to repair. I think it's done. Beautiful. Alright, uh, let's not hit the nebula yet. Let's get the nebula last. If at all. So it looks like this is just a bunch of a uh, bunch of fighters. Well, that's not an issue. The one problem is my like big old plasma shots are kind of garbage against um, lighter ships, but that's what the bolters and the various other things are for. Um, doesn't look like I need to repair anything. Okay. Yeah, so let's just pop in the middle of them. Uh, but, you know, this game scales content really well. I don't actually have a good comparable roguelike. In fact, I'm not even sure if this game counts as one. Uh, it has roguelike elements, but, you know, when I think roguelike, I think, you know, Vagante, I think Catacomb Kids, I think Tower of Guns, you know, it's pretty much one run, you're done. This one actually is more of kind of like a lengthy campaign split, a, split into several submissions, which, honestly, not a bad, not a bad strategy. It's, uh... It's a good way of keeping your content in kind of a fresh manner, and, um, you know, also progression, so you don't, so the players don't feel like they're overwhelmed, but it also doesn't feel like they are, uh, you know, underwhelmed either. Could be a little bit faster getting through, but I think that's mainly because of my somewhat insane insistence on, um, on doing everything. I am I am a loot whore to end all loot whores. Okay, we've still got some more s supply pods here. I'd like to get some more ships with some more space on them. All right, so we've got a couple of enemies left. We've got. Let me see. That's just one normal ship. Yeah, let's kill him. Uh, just because. It's actually like a regular ship, and there's some items here. I'm mostly hoping I can get some more of the good guns. Though honestly, oh, this poor bastard. Uh, honestly, my hopes aren't terribly high, but I'm hoping maybe I unlock one or two things once I get out of here. Plus, I can actually start going to the star bases and can buy... Okay, let's go here. Let's just jump until we run into something. We've cleared out most of the basic issues. Uh, most of the basic enemies. But that's okay. Oh, hostiles present. Oh yeah, there they are. Uh... But, you know, worst comes worst, I start buying upgrade points, which I guess I could spend some immediately. Wouldn't mind uh, upping my bomber count just because they make, like, a really nice shield. Okay, he's about dead. Yeah, he's done. This guy's just doggedly been existing over here. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. Okay, so let's get that sweet, sweet loot. And then let's get out of here. You're making great time. So it looks it looks like we still have like a couple of ships here and there. I don't know I don't know if it keeps randomly generating it. Oh really? It'll even reload uh oh, not reload. It'll even repair my like little dudes. Neat. Um Let's speed this up a bit. But yeah, I can I can buy upgrade points. He left. Son of a bitch ran away from me. Alright, let's chase him. I want as much loot as I can. But yeah, repair lasers will um the, the repair thing will actually repair bombers. I didn't realize that bombers actually... Well, I guess they do take damage, so of course that'd be a thing, but still. Alright. Oh, this sucker was almost dead when I found him. There he goes. I assume we don't get any cool loot. Uh, there's an item on the ground, and it is a shield re-energizer, Celestial. Okay, so let's see if it's any better or worse than mine. So 400, 6.5, 130. It's slightly better. Only to the point where slightly becomes kind of silly sounding. Okay, so we can do recharge time reduction or shield recharge. Let's boost the recharge time. The more it hits us, the better. Yeah, I might actually want to buy some upgrade points here. Alright, whatever. I'll just start heading this direction. Probably just going to run into that guy, but if he does flee, we catch him. Oh, there he is. Right on top of him. 
I actually redu really do like jumping straight on top of these guys because I pretty much just land on him with all my all my damage. Admittedly, currently my medic ship is the one taking the damage, but I mean, they're just about as tough as all of the other ones, so it doesn't really matter that much. Interesting that all of the resources fly only into my main ship. Didn't realize that. Oh, it's okay. We are so close to being done with this mission. Like he just fires Healy laser straight into his butt. But, alright. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Apologies for those of you that want me to move quickly. Oh god, this episode is a lot longer than I thought. Like 40 minutes? Maybe a little bit more? This guy is sunk. I don't even see his HP bar. Oh, that's because he's dead. Ha! Ah. Alright, let's see if there's anything around here. We get a Celestial Shield Regenerate. Uh... Uh, Regenerizer, whatever you want to call it. Okay, 404, 6.5, 464. Alright, looks like we have our options. Now, I could consider... Instead of a weapon, getting another one of them. Kind of tempting, honestly. Let's get rid of the human bolter. And let's grab this one. Oh, I see. That one has slightly less range, but the recharge up it already has the recharge upgrade. Uh because getting a second shield regenerator might not be a bad move. But at the same time, whatever. Okay, outstanding work, Commander. You managed to clear out this galaxy in a convincing manner. New task awaits you. So, I guess on to the next one. So, I guess with that, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.